welcome back to Bitcoin Advisor channel. My name is Chris. I'm going to give you a quick five minute update on Bitcoin and a couple of trade setups. Starting off with the heat map. Uh, <clears throat> what do I have here? Uh, some heat down here at about 59,500. Yeah. Why on the shorter term time frames, this is important. If you are taking some trades, I don't know. I've just found this very, very helpful. Um, as to where potential bounces could happen on the shorter term time frame. Again, that's on a weekly basis. If you look on the 12 hour, you can see we're in a really, really boring range. And it, you know, a question of where does the market maker want to push price right now? Well, in a bet, we're going to tag both sides before this really breaks. Um, that's what the market maker has been doing, just dancing it around, building liquidity. They're getting more and more people to commit to positions and, um, Another thing I think is helpful is this little heat map here on Coin Glass. I'll, I'll make sure they drop something in a link below. Uh, the most highly volumed <laughs> trade uh, traded coins today: uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Eigen, TIA, Caddy, Knot, and Floki. So a lot of money, perhaps in that direction, short or long. Open interest. Um, Kicking up on Pepe, Ton, and APT. I can tell you Pepe looks like, um, yeah, you know, coming near the lows. We can look at that one in a second. And I'd be interested to take a look at Ton, the Telegram coin. Let's see if I can get the right chart here in the <coughs> screen. I guess I'll start it off here. Bitcoin given us the range that's popcat i might touch on that a little bit later um yeah very very short term time frame the market maker is just you know building liquidity you know short term 6146 yeah you can see the fibs laying it out uh, the 382 and the 0.5 that's pretty much um the range to break really we we need to get back above 627 um and you, you probably just want to see one nasty wick um if it was me, let's just get it over with in a day and come down to that 786 at 566. Um, you know, in general, I think um, we're hitting some turbulence because of the wars and, the, you know, the dockers or people quitting their jobs, yada, yada, the election, people fearful, people crazy, people don't know what to do. Um, but I think our bias is, um, you know, pretty much been that... Um, you know, even though we could get some wicks down that overall, because the production cost of Bitcoin is just steadily rising over time, that there's a nice floor. So any major dips are going to be buying opportunities in longer term. We've talked about what happens after the halving cycle. Check out the previous videos if you, uh, you know, hadn't seen those. Some of the longer term, I don't know, check the titles. You might be able to um, see those by by something like macro in the title anyways um other than that i i i will draw the fibs one more time <clears throat> and see if we can line it up on the heat map 57.9 and uh 55 584 the other thing everybody's talking about is a cme gap which i think we brought up a uh, very very long time ago yeah, that's down there. Uh, the gaps like to get filled and it does happen every once in a while. I just don't feel like this is death defying or deserving enough of, you know, some kind of major, major wick down to that 49.2 or even 39. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's World War Three yet, um, if you ask me. So generally looking for it to just get picked up uh, over time. There's a statistics out there. Shout out to Eric Crown on that one is, you know, the... Month of October is uh, where you typically see a bottom formed in the first week to two weeks. I think it's seven to 10 days of October. We're the third day in of October. Everybody was expecting that October. It's not yet. Um, and we're just, you know, I think setting up for the, uh, for the rest of the bull and invalidation comes well i think on the five day time frame if we do flip momentum um yeah we don't want to see a five day back you know create a lower high and we don't want to see momentum flip back down below 
779, which we're not too far away from right now. So that's the bear case. You know, five day flips around, surprises everybody, volatility ticks up, and you get the move down to 38. Because uh, we're cooking a 40% move. When volatility is this low on the weekly time frame, on the five day time frame for oh, I gotta go. It's time to go. We will catch up again here tomorrow, guys. Hope you have a blessed and highly favored day. Um, but uh, I, I, I do have to go. Do have to go. Take care.